This month is National Prostate Cancer Awareness Month, and today we are wrapping up our discussion about the disease. If you've been diagnosed with prostate cancer, the idea of radiation therapy and other treatments can be troubling, but there are other options available. Joining me now is Dr. Ali Kazrayan. Dr. Kazrayan, thank you so much for joining us all month long to have this discussion. It's so important. Thank you for having me. This morning, we are wrapping it up, like I just said. But before we do that, we want to talk about treatments. What is high-intensity focused ultrasound, or better known as HIFU? Yeah, so HIFU is basically, like you said, high-intensity focused ultrasound. Ultrasound is basically sound waves. And what this technology does is it focuses sound waves to direct a very, very precise and accurate point in the prostate, and it can treat it both in terms of a treatment of the whole prostate but or focally and just treating the portion that has the cancer. And why this is important is that the most, more prostate you preserve, the more function you preserve. So not only can you cure the cancer, but you can have lower side effects such as erectile function issues and urinary incontinence. So when somebody is starting out on this journey, exploring these different options, you just talked about some of the benefits of high fu. What should you expect or what should someone expect during a procedure like this? So the thing to think about with, with this therapy is first is a discussion with your urologist to see if you are a candidate for HIFU. You need prostates that are, are of a certain size, uh, uh, certain grades of cancers. Typically, these are low to intermediate risk prostate cancer, typically, preferably intermediate risk cancers that you have found with an MRI guidance, so that targeted biopsy that we spoke about this month. Uh, and you could potentially find a, find the disease on an MRI scan. You can target it on the MRI scan to find the correct diagnosis mm -hmm. and then you can treat that specific area and what high food does it is kind of like taking a magnifying glass to burn a leaf it focuses that energy so afterwards people should expect a, a same-day procedure so you go in uh, have the procedure you go home the same day uh, uh, typically you have a catheter in for for five days or so um, uh, possibly a little bit longer and then you have some urinary discomfort associated with that but the nice thing about this therapy not only have, have multiple studies both on the United States and the European side have shown that uh, the, the cancer survival rates are approaching 100%, um, but also the recurrence-free rate, meaning avoidance of other therapies such as surgery and radiation therapy or hormone blockade. Uh, in, in the United States study that was just published, uh, uh, the vast majority of these patients, 91% of these patients were able to avoid such therapies. And in the European study, there was a high volume, uh, large uh, uh, follow-up, uh, long-term follow-up study of intermediate and high-risk prostate cancer, more than 88% of people were able to avoid uh, other therapies with 100% prostate cancer-specific survival. And the important thing with the, the functional outcomes, uh, in the United States study, 0% of these men had incontinence, 2% in the European study, and erectile function was unaffected in both. Let's talk about, before we let you go, Tulsa Pro and HIFU and the differences. So. Tulsa Pro is a new way of delivering HIFU. So if you can imagine that the high intensity focused ultrasound or HIFU is a treatment done with a, a transrectal approach towards the prostate. So it's, it's, it's like treating from outside to in. Uh, Tulsa Pro is a new MRI based technology where you essentially have uh, the delivery of the, of the technology from the inside out. Uh, so it allows you a very real time MRI based guidance. So the same way that you diagnose the disease, you can treat the disease and, and and it's been very, very, very impressive in terms of the precision and accuracy of your therapy and the reproducibility of both of these therapies, and patients do very well. The big thing also to think about with HIFU is, and focal therapy is that you can use the same technology uh, to retreat the prostate. So it's one of the few treatments that if you have HIFU and you do happen to have in that rare instance of recurrence within the prostate, you can actually use the same technology or do radiation or do surgery without burning any bridges. Dr. Kaz Ryan, such great information. I so much appreciate your candor throughout this past month on this subject. And of course, this conversation continues at home with you and your doctor. For now, we appreciate you. Thank you. Appreciate it. And remember, next month's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So, so everyone, men and women, take care of each other and, and get the screenings that you need. It can save your life. Absolutely. And I know my co-anchor, Jen Reddy, will be picking up that conversation next month and kicking that off come October. Very good. Thank you so much. Thank you.